Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the Kettle Brand Potato Chips Backyard Barbecue. Kind of a cool flavor as we're starting to transition into more of the winter months, but it's our natural promise, a non-GMO product from Kettle Brand. And they got 600 solar panels on the roof, guys. So real important. It's enough electricity to make 272,000 bags of chips and avoid CO2 emissions. That's cool. I just want to throw that in there, but Per 23 chips or 50 grams, there's 250 calories, so pretty standard for chips, 14 grams of fat, 28 carbohydrate, 3 fiber, 2 sugar, and 4 grams of protein. So yeah, it's roughly, per chip, around 10 calories-ish. And we get into it, see what the back air barbecue is all about. They have really thick bags, which I don't know, I think I like a lot, because it just feels more premium. There's a big chip texture hmm yeah barbecue flavor tastes like it could be coming from a backyard the flavor checks out feels like I don't know the texture is great they have really good texture to them and it does taste like it's coming from a backyard. Like, I, I don't know how to describe that, but if I envision backyard barbecue flavored potato chips, it tastes like this. It might be because it's a, it's like not a strong barbecue flavor. Some barbecue chips don't taste like barbecue at all. Whereas this one, it tastes like barbecue ribs, kind of. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll have one more chip and give my final review. Yeah, those are really interesting. It's um, not a strong, spicy, or weird flavor barbecue. It's just nice and smooth, giving it that illusion of a backyard barbecue. I don't know. I think that name is very fitting, actually. It's not just a regular barbecue. It's a backyard barbecue. So Kettle Brand, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give these a 8 out of 10. It's a good barbecue flavor. Feels wholesome. And knowing that there's solar power making these chips makes me feel a little bit better eating them. So... Yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.